All right, so as I explained, a student t test is a test that is used to compare between two samples or treatments, whether there is a significant uh, difference between the set of values. So in simple terms, the t-test compares the actual difference between the mean in relation to a variation in the data. And that is uh, what we want to demonstrate in this example. Now, the formula used to calculate the t-test is what we have on the screen. So you can see here, you can see t equals x1 bar minus x2 bar divided by square root of s1 squared plus s2 squared. Each one divided by its uh, uh, number, that is n1 and n2. That is x1 bar minus x2 bar divided by square root of s1 squared over n1 plus s2 squared over n2. Then we also come across a new term, which is the s squared, which is a pooled variance. Uh, pooled variance is calculated between uh, the two uh, sample variances. So we use uh, this formula on the screen here to determine the pool variance, okay? At the formula here, S square is equal to summation X1 minus X1 bar squared plus summation XI minus X2 bar squared divided by N1 plus L2 minus two. And that is pool variance between the two uh, data sets. So right here, we, we want to uh, demonstrates how to use this formula to calculate t tests. Now, the parameters in the formula are defined. X, xi is each data in the sets. Then x1 bar is the mean of the measurement of the first uh, sample, which has a size of n1. And x2 bar is the mean of measurement of the second sample, which has a size of uh, n2. Then s1 squared and s2 squared are the variances of samples one and samples two. Sample two. Now, the uh, denominator has been replaced in the original uh, variance formula by n1 plus n2 minus 2 because this is a, a pooled variance that we are calculating. All right, so these are the, the, the formulas that uh, uh, are pertinent to this uh, calculation. So, and then the, we also have what we call the degree of freedom. The degree of freedom is n1 plus n2 minus 2 n1 plus n2 minus 2. That is the degree of freedom. Then the level of significance must have been given by the question, by the research question, either 1%, 5%, or 10%. So in this case, we, we have a, a n1 plus n2 minus 2 as degree of freedom. Then in this exa the example we are going to take, we are going to use 5% level of significance. That is a a standard uh, research uh, uh, you know, method. You can use standard method of 5% unless under, otherwise indicated. Now, this is the procedure of calculating the t-test. First, we construct a null hypothesis uh, and then the alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis, like I explained, assumes that there is no difference between two sets of data. There is no difference between two sets of data. That's the assumption. But the alternative hypothesis is the one that we are interested in that shows that uh, when we observe the data, we observe that it's a difference. And that difference is what we are going to state in the, uh, the alternative hypothesis. So then we check the number of uh, the uh, items in each data set, which is N. So we're going to have N1 and N2. Then we calculate the mean for each sample x1 bar and x2 bar. Then we determine s1 square and s2 square, after which we do the uh, calculation for the pool variance. Then we calculate the uh, standard error difference, the t and then the t value. So let's go ahead now and take an example to demonstrate this. After calculating that, we go to the statistical table under t, under t test to check the, N, uh, the, the significance value of t on the t table using the degrees of freedom, degree of freedom and the significance level given the uh, research question. Usually, the significant level is a p equals 0.05, that is 
and then the degree of freedom, as I have explained, is n1 plus n2 minus 2. All right. Now, to make a decision, when the value calculated for t exceed the value that we obtained in the table, then we say there's a, a significant difference between the means of the two sets of data. Otherwise, we conclude otherwise. We conclude that uh, there's no significance, uh, significant difference. All right, so let's take this example. Suppose that a student in food science and technology department measure the biomass in milligrams, produced by bacterium A and bacterium B in shaped flask containing glucose as substrates. He has four replicate flasks of each bacterium as given in the following table. Will it be correct if he concludes that bacterium A produces significantly more biomass when grown on glucose than does uh, bacterium B? So we need to check this using a t-test. We want to use a t-test to make a decision of this question. So we have the set of data here for bacterium A and bacterium B, and they are, uh, we have a four replicates, one, two, three, four, many that N is equal to four. So this is the data for data set set for bacterium A. And then for bacterium B, we have the data set here also. Now, first of all, to solve the problem, we establish hypothesis. And the first hypothesis is H0. H0 here represents the null hypothesis. And then null hypothesis assume that there's no difference between the two sets of data. So we state that the samples of treatment do not differ. Now, alternative hypothesis is what we assume should be the case. That is that there should be a difference between the data. So here you can say H1, H1 states that bacterium A produces significantly more biomass when grown on glucose than does bacterium B. So looking at this uh, table, one can merely look at it and say, okay, uh, at each share replicate, bacterium B uh, is higher than bacterium B. The value measured is higher than bacterium B. So one can you know, state that as uh, the alternative hypothesis. But that is for ordinary you know, assumption. The test that we're going to carry out will help us whether to accept that assumption or not. So we go ahead to calculate the mean of each uh, group, X1, which is calculated like this. We have 487, 47.5. Then same way, we calculate for uh, X2 bar. That is uh, the mean of this second leg group. And we arrive at a 257.5. Now, we go ahead to calculate the, uh, the variances, S1 squared and S2 squared. We all know how to calculate variance. We use uh, our variance formula, which is actually uh, Xi minus X bar squared. You know, summation of that divided by N minus one. That's what, that is what is carried out for this level for group one, data set one, and then we obtain 758.34. Also, the same is uh, repeated for uh, group two, for data, data set two. And then it's calculated this way to, to arrive at S2 squared equals 491.66. Now we now we substitute these values into the pool variance formula. S squared equal, equals N1 minus one multiplied by S1 squared plus N2 minus one multiplied by S2 squared divided by N1 plus N2 minus two. So when you put all those values into the formula, we arrive at four minus one multiplied by 758.34 plus four minus one multiplied by 491.66. And the answer equals 625. All right. So that is a S2, S squared rather, that is pool variance. Pool variance. Now to calculate T, T equals X1 bar minus X2 bar divided by square root of X squared over N1 plus S squared over N2. All right. So that is what we have there. Okay. All right. So we can we can go ahead and see the value of the T. We can calculate the value of the T now. And then 
if you substitute all the values that we have obtained, the x1 bar, x2 bar, and then uh, we substitute that into the formula and the s, s squared, then we come out with this. C equals 487.5 minus 257.5 divided by square root of 625 over 4 plus 65 over 4. And the answer gives us a 13.01. That is the T value. T value. Now, having this one, we can go ahead, you know, can go ahead now and then show uh, uh, whether the hypothesis formulated the x1, that is the hypothesis, whether it is correct or x not. Tanis if I put a, a null hypothesis, whether it is correct. So to de decide that, we need to check statistical table. From the statistic, statistical table, at the uh, level of 5% significance, we, and degree of freedom of 6, that is 4 plus 4 minus 2. The critical p-value is 2.446. But our calculated value here is 13.01. 13.01. So we could see that uh, the uh, calculated value is higher than the tabulated value. So the calculation is higher than uh, the, the value on the table. So for this reason, that we can then conclude that there is significant difference between the two sets of value. That is to say, the alternative hypothesis is accepted, why the null hypothesis is rejected. So that is our conclusion. So we can say that bacterium A significantly produced, produces uh, more biomass when grown on glucose than uh, bacterium B. So we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative. So this is a, an, an example, a simple example of how to uh, use the t-test, calculate the t-test and use it to make an inference in the research. All right, I could see that uh, uh, some of you are joining. So uh, later on, I will make uh, available the video so that you can actually uh, see it. I've demonstrated the formula, the, the example. So the formula that we are working on is what we have here. We have the formula here, student T test. We see the formula for the T and then we, we see the, form, the associated formula, pool variance, the pool variance. So, uh, please, those that don't just join should mute their microphone and others should also join the audio. I see that two people have not joined the audio. They won't be able to hear the lecture. Join the audio. Okay. All right. So, so what you see on the screen, what you see on the screen right now is the formula that uh, is applicable to uh, t-tests. Okay, that's the formula applicable to t-tests. So we have demonstrated it. So later on, you you see the video how the calculation is done using the formula. Actually, uh, it is uh, the the group main and group variance. That leads us, uh, that lead us into the calculation of t-test. The group mean and group variance is what is utilized. So you can see that one in the you know in the video when it is made available to you. All right. So right now, uh, we are in order not to waste uh, much time. If anybody has a question, you can ask ask your question, whether in chats or you let me know by. You know, if you click re reaction, if you tap on reaction, you will see where you can actually raise your hand. So if you raise your hand, I will be able to see that you want to say something. So any, somebody is asking what is N. N is the number of items in a group. If you have 10, 20, or 25 numbers in a particular group, in a particular set, that number is the N. So if I want to show you that in the example once again, I can show you from the uh, the data set that we used. The data set that we used, we could demonstrate what the N is here. Look at it. If you can see the screen now, please mute your microphone.
mute your microphone, please. So if you check the screen, you will see the, the example used, the table that we use for the example. We have bacterium A and bacterium B. All of them have, uh, the both of them have a, a four replicates. So one, two, three, four. N equals four for each one of them. In some other problems, the number of uh, items in each group will not equal. Some, you can have a problem whereby one is N equals to 12, another one N equals to eight. And then you could still calculate uh, their variances and go ahead and determine the T test in between the two of them. So by now I know uh, uh, the one asking the question has obtained the answer. All right, that is any, that is the answer. Number of items in, in each set, in each group. So that is it. So, all right. So as we have discussed, so I've informed you before, you are going to have a quiz that you are going to submit in another 30 minutes or one hour to this time. So check what is on the screen. That is your assignment. That is the quiz and you must submit it. 30 minutes to one hour to this time. So immediately you see this video, start solving the problem according to the example that we actually solved together and submit to me. Just scan it and submit. And that is uh, the five marks. The quiz carries five marks. So uh, don't miss that. That is uh, for those that attended. Please don't miss it. Make sure you work it out and submit according to the example that you watched. Thank you.